Makazi is definitely not one of those artists who run away from social media fights and allegations. Makazi has, fi has finally broken her silence. She has shut down Tef Romos. Multi-award winning musician Makazi has finally decided to shut down some Tef allegations that have been levied against her. Before we get into the full story, welcome again to Afro Juice where we give you the latest and hottest G's. If you're new to this channel you're very much welcome don't forget to support me by subscribing hit the bell icon so you'll be informed when i drop more interesting updates makazi has recent was recently sorry accused of stealing and remixing a malayawan song called milanzu which is a product of kenny and futures the legendary nebman and k9 Taking to Facebook, Makazi said the record straight as she revealed that the song was originally released in 1994 by Papa Penny. She went down memory lane and revealed that she came to love the song Milanzu because her father used to play it a lot. Makazi said that since it's her all-time favorite song, she decided to do a remake of the song. Makazi's way with Papa Penny's approval, of course. She said Papa Penny released the song Milanzu back then in 1994 before I was born. My father had his CDs and played his songs a little bit more. And Milanzu became my all-time favorite song. When I heard the beat, first words that came to my mind were Milanzu. And I called him for a remark of the song and Makazis to do it in the Makazis way and he approved. I respect the legends who open up ways for us new Altis, Makazi wrote. Meanwhile, this is not the first time Makazi has been accused of stealing a song from Malawi. Earlier this year in June, another Malawian musician threatened to sue her for stealing the song Magie. However, after similarities between the song were noted, South African rushed in to defend their queen Makazi, saying that she had not stolen the song from anyone. They argued that the Limpopo musician has seen simply taking a popular South African chant and made it into a song. Of course, Makazi is a very big name not only in South Africa but in Africa and people like to use her name for attention. By accusing her of stealing a song, it would definitely bring a lot of attention because she has a lot of fans and people want to get news about her every day. Finally, Makazi has done the needful and her fans are happy and at rest now. Guys, what do you think about all this? Leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video to the very end do leave a like and a comment below in the comment section thank you and see you soon